Hi, good morning. Well, here we are having a little bit of time in the Word. How is everybody today? Please type a comment or show me that you're here. Um, we're still in Isaiah 59. And um, this part is entitled um, Confession of Sin. We were reading about conviction of sin yesterday. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Miriam. Good morning. Hi, Beth. And um, so we're going to read a few verses here to finish up uh, Isaiah 59. Let's get started. For this reason, justice is far from us and righteousness doesn't reach us. We hope for light, but sadly, there's only darkness. We wait for a bright light, but walk in darkness. We are like the blind groping along a wall. Wow. Inching along in the dark like those who cannot see. We stumble around in broad daylight like it was night, like the walking dead. <clears throat> We're frustrated. We're growling like bears. Okay, let's see what's next. Sorry, I have to turn the page. We're on page uh, 150 if you have the book. Like doves cooing mournfully. We wait and wait for justice, but it never seems to come for salvation, but it remains distant for our many rebellious deeds are stacked high before you. <clears throat> uh, it's been a long time since I felt like, or never, that I felt like my many rebellious deeds were stacked high before him. Some of us have different testimonies. Some of you have felt that way, but it's been a long time since you felt that way. And now you know that you are covered in the blood of Jesus. And there's just nothing like that to know that your sins have been completely taken care of. And you just, let's just stop and pause and say thank you to the Lord that he has accomplished this for us. There is no longer that burden and that weight on our shoulders. We wait and wait for justice, but it never seems to come. For salvation, but it remains distant. For our many rebellious deeds are stacked high before you. Our sins testify against us. We're aware of our sins, and we know our evil deeds all too well. We've rebelled and even tried to deny Yahweh. We've forsaken our God, and our speech stirs up oppression and revolt. And our hearts conceive, then confess lies. So um, first, um, our hearts conceive the lie, and then we confess them. Our hearts can likewise conceive the truth and then confess it. Let's do that, you know? Let's conceive the truth. Let's give birth to truth, and then let's confess that. Good morning, Bella. Good morning, everyone. I haven't seen who's on here. Uh, Sean, good morning everyone. Um, justice is driven away and righteousness stands on the sidelines for truth has stumbled in the public square. Wow. Truth stumbles in the public square. We need to take the public square back. It belongs to us. Righteousness, let's invade the public square with the kingdom of God. And morality cannot enter. Yes, truth has disappeared, and those who turn from evil become the next victim. Yahweh saw this and was greatly displeased, and there was no justice. Do you know how much the Lord loves justice? He's a God of justice, and he wants to see justice in the earth. And those of you who are fighting battles, um, even legal battles today, um, you are backed by the one who is um, profoundly just and he wants to bring justice for your family and for your life. <coughs> Excuse me, it seems like someone's finding, fighting a medical battle and I just speak over you the truth that the God of justice is going to bring an end to this battle and you will owe no more and God will uh, make right what has been wrong, um, in Jesus' name. Okay, so now we're in, um, 
where are we? It's called the Lord our Redeemer. And as usual, oh, I think it's verse 16, yeah. As usual, I always tell everybody the font on the verses, <clears throat> numbers, <clears throat> is like a fairy writing something that I can't see. <laughs> okay, here we go. And then he was astonished to see that there was no champion, not even one who would rescue the oppressed. So then his own mighty power was released to deliver and his own righteousness supported him. He put on righteousness as the body armor, salvation for a helmet, a garment of warring vengeance was his uniform, his passion and passion, his cape, passion, his cape, like this major, amazing, I don't even know if we can call him a superhero, but this is what it looks like to me. He put on righteousness as his body armor, salvation for a helmet, a garment of warring vengeance was his uniform, and passion was his cape. You know, the cape that these superheroes wear is what flies in the wind behind them and gets them airborne, and it is the passion of the Lord for you and for me that brings him into being airborne and swooping down on our behalf. Come on. He will repay wrath to his enemies and retribution to his foes according to what they have done. Reckoning is coming to the islands for what is due them from the west to the lands of the rising sun. The glory and the name of Yahweh will be held in highest reverence. That is where we put him, in the highest place. There is none other. There is none other than Jesus Christ. From the west to the lands of the rising sun, the glory and the name of Yahweh will be held in highest reverence. <clears throat> For he will break in as a flooding, rushing river. Can you turn that um, stove off, please? Thank you, honey. He will break in as a flooding, rushing river, driven on by the breath of Yahweh. He will break into your situation. Come on, he's going to break into your situation as a flooding, rushing river. A flooding, rushing river of God coming in, driven by the breath of Yahweh. He's driving that river on your behalf, and he's going to break through in Jesus' name. I'm going to receive that today myself. He will come to Zion as a kinsman redeemer to those of Jacob's tribes who repent of their rebellion, says Yahweh. And this is my covenant promise with them, says Lord Yahweh. From now on, my Holy Spirit will rest on them and not depart from them. And my prophetic words will fill their mouths and will not depart from them, nor from their children, nor from their descendants, from now on and forevermore, says Lord Yahweh. Okay, we're going to come back to this tomorrow because I want to revisit this last paragraph that I don't have time for, but we're going to talk about our kids and our grandkids. In Jesus' name, we're going to see what this promise says. All right, love you. Have a great day.